Now let us discuss the chapter introduction to graphs. Have you ever seen the graphs in newspaper, textbook, mag magazine, somewhere? So what is the purpose of the graphs? So the purpose of the graphs is to show the numerical facts in the visual form so that we can understand easily, quickly and clearly. So actually the graphs are the visual representations of the numerical facts. But the data can be represented in the form of a table. But however, the graphs means the graphical representation of any data we can understand easily. And even if you want to compare a trend or any comparison, if you want to make any comparison, so the graphs are very helpful to us, helpful to us so that we can understand easily. There are different types of graphs means there are different types of graphical representation so the first one we can take that bar graph or sometime we draw the double bar graph and we can take circle graph or this is also known as pi graph And next one, histogram. Next one is line graph. And the last one is linear graph. So there are the different types of graphs, bar graph, circle graph are also known as pi graph, histogram, line graph and linear graph. Now let us revise all these types of graphs. So the first one bar graph. So what is a bar graph? So a bar graph shows the comparison among the different categories. And a bar graph consists of two or more vertical or horizontal rectangles. So if you take the example in this example on the horizontal line the term exams are taken and on the vertical line the marks in mathematics of a student are taken. So in the first term he has got 30 marks in the mathematics. So representing the first term maths marks so there is a one rectangle vertical rectangle and in the second term he got 40 marks. So to represent the 40 marks in the second term exam in mathematics so there is another rectangle to show 40 marks and in the third term exam he got 50 marks. So to show the 50 marks in third term examination in mathematics so there is another rectangle. So here these three are the vertical rectangles to show the first term, second term, third term examinations. Now we can compare whether the marks of the student are increasing or decreasing. We can easily say that the marks of the student in mathematics are increasing. So when you compare from first term to second term or second term to third term. Now if you want to show the comparison between two subjects like mathematics as well as science. Now here we have to draw another graph to represent the science marks. So that is unshaded rectangle. Or here also we can take another graph. So this unshaded rectangle represents signs. Here unshaded represents signs and shaded graph represent shaded rectangle represent mathematics. So here we can compare the two subjects marks in the three term examinations. Now here the width of each bar is same and the gap between each two consecutive bars also the same. But here the length or height of the each bar depends on the particular marks in the different subjects. So actually the bar graph is used to show the comparison among the quantities. Now let us see what is a pi graph or what is a circle. 
so the pi graph or a circle graph is used to compare the parts of a whole so a pi graph is used to compare the parts of a whole here a circle is taken and it will be divided into some sectors to show the parts of the whole circle but whereas in the bar graph we will represent of each category in the form of a rectangle but here we will represent each category each category in the form of a sector so if you want to find the number of students who like mathematics or science or any other subject for example if 50% of the students like mathematics so now this is a sector means a semicircle and if 25% of the students like science so then this sector represents 25% so the number of students who like the science subject and if for example 15% students like social science and 10% students like for example english so here the comparison of different subjects is shown in the form of sectors so these sectors are the parts of a whole circle so in the pie graph or circle graph the circle is divided into different sectors to show the different categories of the given data so here 50% like mathematics and 25% of the students like science and 15% like social studies and 10% like english